Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and... Oh, wait, what's that? The music's not from this game. Cut the music! Ah, that's more like it. I'm H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Lunar! Let's go and rescue Luna in one of my favorite scenes in the game. She's doing with them. I, she seemed like a good guy to me. Of course, and again, Galleon seemed kind of shady, and well, look how that turned out. Ha ha! Yeah, what are you th or four gonna do about us? Uh, she's just singing for you. That's not really doing a whole lot. But so the song that we've been practicing for that festival was evil all along. Oh, well, they were going to kill me anyway, but... Well, use the mirror on her, Mia. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Shut up, you're ugly. Apparently Mia has some authority around here. What are you going to do? Whoa! Oh yeah, that's right. She's kind of a magician. Nuts. Hmm. What's going on with Galleon there? You're a big fat phony! Will it work? Haha! -ha! I, uh, oh. She's not an imposter? Huh. That's weird. This is a JRPG! She's supposed to be the phony! What's going on here? Huh? But you can't... You can't both be... Oh, okay. So yeah, they twist it a little bit instead of uh, having it just reveal the imposter. It breaks the curse on the real one, and instead of revealing the imposter there, well, they are kind of magicians. Uh, we're not believing your story. Oh yeah, Galleon, huh? Haha! -ha! You see, I knew he was on our side the whole time! He was just a red herring! Yeah, he sounded kinda shady with his voice acting there, but... Haha! -ha! You see, I like how they throw these twists in there instead of just being so predictable. Admit it, you thought he was a bad guy, didn't you, viewers? How bad could it pass? Okay, it's obvious it's gonna be really bad. A descendant of the Forgotten Vile Tribe, the innocence Althena callously pushed out beyond the wastelands of the frontier. I warned you I could see many things. Unfortunately, I have now foreseen your demise. Too bad you had to get involved. We didn't expect you to get this far, young Alex. It's been quite a revelation. But you never can tell when luck like yours will run out. My 
My blood cries out for the vengeance of my people's blood, which can only be repaid with at least twice as much blood, or maybe three times as much blood. Like if you went to hell, and it was full of blood, and that blood was on fire, and it was raining blood, and maybe that would be enough blood. Uh, but probably not. Uh-oh. Four of them? I'm totally unprepared for four. For boss time against the Ultra Goyles. Okay, uh, basically the trick to this fight is surviving one round. If you can do that, you'll be fine. So first things first, uh, buff up Alex as always. Uh, let's see, Nash really can't do a whole lot because I used up all of his MP. Fortunately, the Ultra Goyles are weak to ice. So let's use our uh, Blizzard spell on them. Yeah, fire. Well, it's the best thing we got, and unfortunately, they back attacked us, so. Shake that ass, Mia. Yeah, I know, it's probably just the wind or. Uh, the magical energy throwing her skirt around or whatever, but I like to think otherwise. So, anyway, uh, whoa. Okay, don't gang up on Luna. Game? Damn it! Well. Come on, get back on your feet. Hey, hey, all right, go now. Yeah, every now and then he'll randomly revive a party member in the middle of battle. So now we want to use our new flash cut there. Uh, let's see, let's get healing on everyone there. Let's uh, use the fire cane on someone else and another blizzard spell. That should do the trick. Hopefully. Yeah, that move is really good. Unfortunately, it's very expensive, too. Summon so. Oh. Alright, got him. Yeah, these guys are weak to ice, so that really helps out a lot. Knowing uh, your elemental weaknesses and all that jazz in advance. Yay, happy music. Oh, okay. So that's why he was going along with, with Lamia. So, uh, what's our next move then? I don't think we can really go much other... Go to many other places on the world map. Well, there's only one of you, apparently. All the other heroes are either dead or, well, in otherwise incapacitated or not really doing a whole lot. Yeah, that is true. What kind of intelligence? Where are you going to go? Shouldn't you already know the location of all the dragons? Seriously, that's one thing I, I... I mean, it's not... I suppose it's not a big deal in the plot, but... That's just one thing I never quite got about the plot. I mean, shouldn't the four heroes know where the dragons are? Because, I mean, they, they helped... I would assume that they helped Dine become a dragon master, so... They would have to have known where the... They would have to find them in the first place. They would have to know where the four dragons are. Again, not a big deal. It's just something that's like, wait, what? Shouldn't? Yeah. So, whatever. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, with the dragons, I mean, if they did find them back in the day and they don't know anymore... What, did the dragons just move around periodically or something? I mean, they live in a cave for a few years, and it's like, mm, I'm kind of tired of this cave. You know, I want to get out, get out every now and then, and explore the world, find a new cave to settle down in. Well, 
Sounds like a plant. What do you mean by that? Seriously, I, I have no idea what he mean. What do you mean about idle hands? Is there some expression that I'm not familiar with about idle hands? I, I, I honestly don't know, viewers. There's a lot of things I don't know. <laughs> well, okay, so now we gotta head back to Mel's mansion, and uh, apparently, uh, I mean, he's not doing too well. Nuts. Yeah, maybe so. Well, you didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, not really a queen or anything like that. Well, apparently so. I guess that's why Nash was so interested in uh, Luna's singing. Why do they care about her singing anyway? I mean, they're not. She doesn't. Can't really do a whole lot with their singing. Well, I know what they want, but I'm not going to tell you. Oh. Well, sounds like a plan. Haha. <laughs> Jealous? Yeah, I was supposed to become the Dragon Master, but, well, Galleon's kind of uh, ahead of the curve there on that one, so... Oh. Well, Ga Galleon seemed to have uh, a shady voice, but uh, he's on our he, he's on our side. Sounds like a plan. Maybe we could uh, learn the ropes from him. I do like how they talk about uh, Galleon's relationship with Dine a little bit, too. Okay, well, anyway, okay, that's everything we can do here. So, before actually advancing the plot, there are a couple other side things that we can do. Wow, I didn't realize that this uh, this scene was so long, but it's a good scene, so it's, it's a good kind of long. So, but now that the, uh, uh, the, well, the sorceresses, or whatever you want to call them, now that they've been revealed, let's go back to, uh, the Althena Shrine here, where Facia was. Man, this sure is a, uh, yeah, let's rest. This game really threw me off. And we've got people who sound like they're good guys, like Facia, and turn out to be bad guys, and... People who sound like they're bad guys, like Galleon, who turn out to be good guys. But anyway, if you talk to her earlier in the game, or this lady... And then you come back here now and uh, talk to her again, then you get Facia's Bromide. If you uh, don't get it now, then you can never get it later in the game. So, yeah, there's... For all... I think pretty much all these bromides, there's a very short... A very short window to trigger getting them later in the game. And then once they are available, they're only available for a very short window. So, yeah, it's kind of a bastard move there, but... Well, oh well. So anyway, let's head on back to Moribia. And you know what? what? As long as we're going there, let's pay, pay Ramus a visit, too. See how his business is doing. Hopefully he's not selling the bunny girl's assets there. That, that would not be ethical. I wonder what he sells at his shop anyway. Jewelry or something? I don't know. I'm not going to talk to everyone here, but yeah, I'll talk to a few people. Oh, hey, you're still working here. <laughs> wow, 
Yeah, there you go. Go Ramus. He never joins our party again, but it's just nice to check up on uh, old friends every now and then. Hey, how's it going? Well, we're heading back there soon enough. Hey, how's it going? Oh, so that's my nickname now, Green Eyes. <laughs> okay, so anyway, uh, the real reason I came here is to buy the Silver Sword for Alex there, so that'll be a little improvement on the attack power there. So, before visiting uh, Master Mal here, which I'll be doing next time, let's go see how Alex is doing in the alternate universe. Okay, we are back in the Sega CD version of the game in the Crystal Tower. We had to actually go into the Silver Spire in order to get Althena's mirror there. Uh, yeah, there it is. So, uh, let's take a look at our uh, party at this point. Uh, Alex is up to level 27. Uh, no spells I really care about here. Uh, let's see, Nash. Let's see, mostly the same stuff there, but we got uh, uh, Thunder Bomb now that I'm going to be using here. And we also got Mia in our party now. And let's let's check her out. Yeah, in this version of the game, she actually has some magic, uh, or healing magic. So that makes going through here a lot easier. But she still has the same ice and fire attacks, just that there are no elemental weaknesses in this version of the game. So let's see how events transpire in this universe. I kind of like to think this, of this game as an alternate universe. Someone was making a comment about that and, on my videos, and it's like, yeah, you know, it's kind of like an alternate universe sort of thing. An alternate reality or something else. Well, Galleon's not going to stop us. So. Now, in this version of the game, uh, Royce and Facia do not exist. It's just Zenobia. That, it, for some reason, they split Zenobia's character up into three people. Well, I don't want to spoil things, but you'll see why. I do like how they keep the dialogue mostly the same, regardless. Obviously, we're not here to rescue uh, Luna, but just to stop Zenobia, that's all, because we got thrown in jail. So. And in this version... Yeah, in this version, the mirror just works straight up right away, just like every other JRPG at the time. PlayStation version, I like how they kind of mixed it up a little bit, but it still essentially accomplishes the same thing. So, Yeah, Lunar does use a lot of tropes, but uh, I like how they twist it up. Twist it a little bit, you know? For boss time against... Well, I'm guessing they're the same gargoyles, or ultra goyles, or whatever. Okay, we want Alex to attack the one in the front there. We want to have Nash use Thunder Bomb, and Mia use Flame Bomb on both of them. Try to focus on them one at a time with Alex there, and because there's only two of them, so you don't really need to uh, worry about that as much. Uh, let's see, let's use... Uh, yeah, yeah, let's use Thunder ball on the other one, and Flame Bomb still from Mia. Now if I need to, I'll have Mia heal up Alex, but apparently that upper one is uh, just kind of leaving me alone for now. So let's just keep going there, good Thunder Ball, Flame Bomb, there we go. Yeah, unfortunately I, I don't think magic auto-targets in this game, I could be wrong, but when I was just playing this earlier. I, uh, I don't know. It just seemed like it wasn't really helping that much. So, let's, uh, heal up Alex, eh? All right, there we go. Yeah, I like the, uh, victory noise. Huh? How's it going? Yeah, pretty uneventful in the, uh, Sega CD version. Oh, well, I still think it's a cool scene. Just... I, I love the cutscene in the uh, PlayStation version. It just really sets the mood like, okay, the shit's about to hit the fan. So. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder 
where she is. Because in this version of the game, we, uh... Yeah, we didn't find her. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. All right. So, yeah, pretty much events transpire about the same as before. So, yeah. And remember in the Sega CD version, M Mirror Universe, whatever you want to call it, uh, Luna did not come with us. So, this is like the first time we're going to be able to see her again after for quite some time. So, uh, if you talk to this lady, she'll warp you out of here. So, you don't have to go through that whole dungeon again. Because remember, in this version, you have random encounters. So, it's not like you cleared all the enemies, so you don't have to worry about it on the way out. No, no, it doesn't work that way. There is one other thing I want to show you here. I want to show you where, uh... I think this is the Magic Guild. Yeah, yeah, okay. I want to show you where uh, the real Lemia is. Oh, get out of the way. Thank you. So yeah, you go over here. Yeah, that's her in the uh, cell to the left there. Uh, I think they just put a spell on her in this version of the game. No memory mask or, or anything like that. And as I recall, I don't think you actually do anything for her or about her until... Uh, much uh, until much later in the game, so uh, yeah, I don't think it's really a major plot point here in this version of the game. So, oh wow, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, we can't do anything for it now. So, oh wow, but how hard could it possibly be getting back to Bird? Find out next time on Let's Play Lunar. This is HC Baby signing off. Have a good day.